Hi everyone. So um, I already made a half a video because I'm going to do a transfer but I'm going to show the whole video. So now I'm going to um, thank everyone for sponsoring. That's the most important part. So thank you all for helping me keeping my channel afloat. And also I'd like to show the new pendants I made. There are a lot of them. I'll give you a close-up. Let's see, did you see those? Yes, you saw those. This is, these are the new ones. So, they are pretty. These are rose gold. This is silver and bronze. They're kind of cute, right? So I'm going to uh, put those up on Etsy as soon as I made the uh, chains for them. Um, that's it, back in focus. So these just have these little rose gold chains for them. But these I'm going to make uh, a beaded uh, necklace. So that's that. Then I have the one I did. This is the last pour I did online. So. I added the gold. I kind of like it that it's sort of like a vertebrae. Kind of looks cool. And still has those awesome cells. So I really like this one. But this has to dry before I can varnish it. So at least two weeks. That's what it takes. As you can see, there's. Um, let's see if I can catch it in the light. You can see that it's pretty shiny in places where the uh, silicone popped up. But I, I can't clean it unless it's fully cured. So putting that one aside. And what we're going to do now is do a final resin coat. So put this away. And get the painting. Because there are two, see that, two pieces there. So I'm going to uh, do one final coat. I still got that in place, the plastic to uh, keep uh, keep the drips off the bottom. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I'm going to sand it really lightly, then I'm going to take a, um, an alcohol cloth, clean it, and then I'm going to do the resin. So lots of people ask me, where do you buy the uh, alcohol? Uh, I buy it at a sort of a drugstore thing. And uh, I'm sure you can buy it anywhere. Rubbing alcohol is fine. I'm not sure if this was because I touched it without gloves. So that's why I'm... Um, I usually have a lot, always have gloves on when I handle a, a pour. So I really lightly sand it, sand it down a bit. I'm going to do the sides again. And this time I will be using a little bit more resin because someone said, you know, you need to uh, use a little bit more resin and then the chance of those uh, holes developing is much less. So that's what we're going to do. It does sand pretty, pretty quick. Okay, that's that. Then the rest. Just a slight sand down. about it. The corners a little bit. That's it. Now. Now I need a cloth. Because when you sand, uh, of course, there's a lot of dust involved. So what I'm going to do is 
clean off my plastic here with a uh, wet cloth. Get all the dust. That's it. Now, the alcohol. That's the alcohol. And then especially in those little holes, those little craters. That's about it. Well, maybe I should sand that off too, because I, I don't know how that came in there. I could try that. Nah, it's pretty deep. Just let it go. I think the, the part where I don't like the resin is because it has to be perfect for me. If there's little holes or bumps or anything, I don't like it anymore. I, I think that's the, the thing. <clears throat> so there's also a lot of uh, questions about the uh, resin I use. This is what I use, Mastercast 121. And as you can see, this is the uh, hardener, and this is the uh, the resin. As you can see, there's one kilo of resin and 0 0.9 of hardener. You can see that on there. See that? And that is um, that is why with this resin I weigh it. So I'm gonna get my little weighing thing. use this side just put it to zero and I think we'll do 50 or something like that oops where he went over there 30 so we're gonna do 60 milliliters oh 62 nope 60 60. That's it. Put this aside. Another thing that I'm going to do uh, today is look at this. This is plexiglass. Look at the thickness. Is that beautiful? I'm going to be doing a uh, resin pour on this. And someone said you can make, uh, you can even put a light behind it. And um, that, that should look really cool. And now I'm thinking, is this enough? I don't think so. 60. Maybe I should take a little bit more. And I can always make more. So I've got my torches all filled up. They're good to go. I didn't buy a new one though. I should do that. Maybe tomorrow if the uh, shop is open. Okay, we're uh, pretty much there. There is a little spot in there that I want out. There it is. Don't know where that came from. That thingy. Okay, let's put it on there. Now put this away. And I promised to do a uh, watercolor. I have a really uh, cool idea to do a watercolor, which we will be doing. I think right after this one. Okay, that's enough. That's enough stirring. Put them right down here. 
And let's start with the uh, where those little bumps are. If there's not enough, I will make a little bit more, but I think there's enough. That's a lot. Now, let's see. I thought I had one of those little combs with the uh, those sore tooth combs. I guess not. Okay, let's do this. Nah, this is not enough. I need some more. So 60 milliliters on a um, on a 30 by 30 is just not enough. I thought I felt something here. Yes, I feel something. That is nice and smooth. So is this. I'm getting a little quiet because I um, I'm trying to do this really straight. I'm trying to do the sides. Oh, there's some more. Some more. Now I'm going along the sides because I do want to do the sides a little better. That's nice and smooth. So is this. Let's see. Gotta hold it up a little bit. That's nice and smooth. This one too. Okay. Now I am going to take out a couple of these little things I see. I don't know what they are. It's not dust. I just don't know what they are. Okay. So uh new glove. Is, is that a air bubble or not? No, it's not. Okay, guys, this is uh, this is it. Um, it is a lot smoother than it was, so I'm gonna stop here. Gonna pick out a couple of pieces that I see and. Um, I'll show you it later, so see you later, guys. Thank you for watching.